we give all the glories to the Lord. Let us bless each other. Have a peace in your heart. You are the evangelist who will save this world. You will take the land. And the throne and all the salvation is on the head of the Lamb. And while listening to this praise, I really shout out Amen. The salvation is on the throne, and that's the working of、uh, the cross done by Jesus Christ. And we will recover the precious blessings of the salvation. And we have a worship service for the Thanksgiving for this year. And we give thanks in advance for the blessings、uh, to, to come. And Psalm 81, David said, There is a blessing that accumulated and the blessings that God gave us. The day by day,、um, as a child of God, we have the blessings from the Lord that God, give, God has given us, and also the salvation that is stored up for us. So, with these、uh, blessings, then we must come before the Lord. That is the worship of Thanksgiving. s So we have a baptism service, and the, the right way to、um, give thanks to, for salvation to the Lord is making disciples. With all the answers, we can also give thanks to the Lord. But the last command that Jesus、uh, gave to the disciples was that you must go out and make disciples. So remember this. And、uh, we raised all the disciples and the people who are just baptized. They are the disciples through whom we will accomplish the world evangelism. And we set up the, all these precious workers for this world evangelism. That is a blessing for you and for this church as well. So please、uh, give. Thanks to the Lord for this matter. Israel, God said to Israel people that you must come before the Lord three times a year. So He commanded that you must、um, celebrate the feast in the book of Deuteronomy. That is about the Passover and the feast of. Harvest and the Feast of Ingathering. As you know well, and Passover is about Israeli people had never gotten out of Egypt, but they put the blood of the lamb on the frame of the door and they got free. And it's about salvation. And out of Egypt, they were in the wilderness, and in 50 days, 50 days, 50 days late. Later, after they came out of Egypt, they harvest the belly. That is called the Feast of Harvest. And that is important thing is that he、um, took care of every step that Israel people took. So we call that is, we call it Pentecost. That God has guided. And in the final stage, they conquer the land of Kenyan. It's not about done by the guidance of the Lord, but also He、uh, let them harvest the fruits. So, in today, we call it world evangelism. So, while living on this earth, we have no choice but to enjoy the kingdom of God. And in advance, we can enjoy the blessings of the throne. And we can taste it even living on this earth. So, these are very important contents. 
along with the salvation and blessings, we have three feasts. So many churches are having this、uh, feast of in gathering、uh, as a Thanksgiving.、Uh, it is right in some way, but can be different. In other words, we didn't start this har-、uh, feast of harvest as this meaning. And The English church persecuted、uh, Puritans and they went to the America. And this Puritan、uh, settled down in the land of America. But they faced a lot of difficulties. Even though they faced difficulties, they had a chance to harvest、um, crops. So they gave Thanks to the Lord. So it is the origin of the Thanksgiving. When the missionaries of America's, Americans went in, came into Korea and they started having this、um, the feast of Thanksgiving. And in、uh, many churches in Korea, they changed it.、Um, The day of Thanksgiving, and they they try to designate the exact day of Thanksgiving. So they just started celebrating the feast when the missionaries came to Korea for the first time. So we have Thanksgiving days, the third week of November. So we. It's about like giving thanks to the Lord because they harvest the crops. But also, it has a meaning that we grab hold of the perfect message, perfect gospel. So, we must give thanks to the Lord with this meaning as well. So, in the passage today, God、um, gave this very important message to Israel people. Then, you must enjoy these people without any disbelief. So, they It's talking about this belief in the past, and you have this precious gospel. Then, with this gospel, do not fall into this belief. And you must enjoy this. And the thing that you must give thanks to the Lord is that you are in the position where you can enjoy the perfect gospel. That is a true thanksgiving. The Passover, that they were saved with the blood of the of Christ, and they confess that Jesus is Christ. And the feast of harvest is about they are talking about the guidance of of God, and while living on this earth, they are enjoying the mystery of the throne. That is. In the book, Act chapter four, and Pentecost, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Act chapter one, verse eight. When you receive the Holy Spirit, then you will gain the authority. Then, give give this covenant. Act chapter one, verse eight, and all the salvation is heading for this verse. And all this world is heading for the center of the message. God gave us Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God and the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter one eight is a preaching message from the Lord. What is the feast of harvest? Thanksgiving. Then you must enjoy、um, the. The blessings, the best, and give praises to the Lord. That is Thanksgivings, and in the Old Testament, they just observe all these three feasts. They are tied up this feast, but today we have we enjoy this、um, the blessing of the Thanksgivings day by day. Until now, the Holy Spirit is guiding us. 
even now. So if you know this fact, then it's one certain day is not just only、um, the feast, but also we have the feast day by day. So you must recover these blessings in your life. And through this passage, we will、uh, put this passage linked to our life, and we will check. We will check all guaranteed blessings that is passed over and the feast of in,、uh, harvest. So we will just take a look at all these blessings of the feast this time. First of all. The blessings of salvation for us to enjoy. That is a blessing of salvation. Verse one said, "Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel." In the book here and there, you can check this word. Hear, O Israel. And here in this point, and what God. What does God really want us to hear? It has so many meanings, but other than others, you must remember that you are free from the Egypt, and don't forget the salvation. And here, all Israel, it has very deep meaning that once you are under destiny and disaster and Satan. But you are out of your destiny, Satan and disasters. Then you remember these blessings and enjoy these blessings from the Lord. So it has this meaning. Israel people out of Egypt、um, don't need to think about Egypt. They were out. They got out of it because of the blood of the Lamb. They don't. They didn't need to think about the past. With all thanksgivings and all the blessing of salvation, they didn't check、uh, these blessings, so they just tend to go back to the past. So it happened uh, while uh, crossing the wilderness. Whenever they faced difficulties, so we must give thanks、uh, for this salvation day by day. Otherwise, we have no choice but to go back to the past. We are not failure. We are not falling into the religions, but we tend to go back to the past. Isaiah chapter forty-three. Don't forget the past. Forty-three, eighteen. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. First Corinthians chapter five. And all the, the old things were gone, and the new things has come. So all, we finished all these these destinies and fates, but we must remember these blessings day by day. So it it's all in the word here of Israel. So we must enjoy this blessing of salvation in a correct way. So you. Must check this perfect salvation day by day. Even you don't want to give thanks, you have no choice but to give thanks to the Lord. When, once you truly check this salvation, then you have no choice but to give thanks to the Lord. Along with this, and blessing of salvation has been given to us not by our efforts. So、while living on this earth, there is a mystery of success. It's not done by our efforts, or make many people misunderstand that they must do our best in every matter. But of course, somehow it is true, but it is not true. It's not done by your efforts, but done by your faith. Of the fact that you are saved through Jesus Christ is the face. First John chapter five verse four. Then for everyone born of God overcame the world, overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world. 
even our face. That is the, the face that was given to the saved. That is the face that you can overcome this world. How can you get this face? By listening to his words. You can have a face. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Whenever you hear the messages, then the message is heard through the word of Jesus Christ, and faith comes from hearing. You must just take your life at least to listen to his, his message. You must focus on his words and meditate on it. You may not, you may have difficulty hearing his words, but you must put things at halt, other things at halt, but you must focus on his words. You must recover this first. You are doing everything except for the messages from the Lord. Things are not working. One who just baptized uh, said, the story and her father and mother uh, are non-believers so this, she didn't start her face but one day she wanted to read this Bible and while reading this Bible so many things are difficult to understand and the moment uh, when she went to the gym and the, the owner of the gym uh, talked to her about this gospel and she found this this is the power of the gospel so she whenever she uh, read she reads this bible then she experienced the power of the bible so day by day she was very happy because she gained the power from the Bible. So I asked her this question. Don't you don't think that we are this have you heard about this church and rumor of this church? And she said she wasn't worried about this because she understood the power of the message from this church so I didn't try to nobody to evangelize her family lines but uh, her mother she also decided to come to church with her so they are also ready, ready for this gospel. I, I always ask the same questions to the baptized. Can you hear the message of God? And some people might say, that, uh, at first it was difficult, but now I can get to understand. And some people say that it's still difficult so many answers but that's okay but when once you listen to his voice and you can understand it then there will be the Holy Spirit then your spirit will gain the power and you will experience the power of his image and its uh, effect will get into the field and go down to your offsprings, your children. So you must first understand his words and whenever you hear his message and you will recover your true face, then you gain the power in your spirit, then you can be linked to uh, the world evangelism as a light. So God said to Israel people before conquering the land, Canyon, they need to have the spiritual fight. If there is no spiritual fight, that there is no use um, gaining face. So you must recover face because once you get into the land of Canyon, you must get into the spiritual battlefield. Otherwise, they might fail. 
and the spiritual better field. So, what is the kind of land was the Canaan? Is it all centered in humans? Filled with all the humanism, all the physical materialism. Thus, that was the land of Canaan. That so they all focused on the physical world and the humans, so they had no choice but to worship idols. So the, all the idols were conquering the land. So they have this materialism and humanism. With this power, then they had no choice but to worship idols. As uh, the saved ones, if uh, if they have. No faith, then they cannot succeed in, you know, the fighting, the spiritual fight. So you must first recover your faith. If you say I'm saved, then that is a faith that God gave you to the saved ones. Second. Oh, first two. It's about. The sons of the Anakim. First, you must enjoy and、um, succeed in the spiritual battle field, cause God is behind you. With the faith, God is always guiding them. So you must overcome this strong world and enjoy it. And especially verse two. People great and tall, the sign of the Anakim, and the book of Numbers, and they sent the spies to the land of Canaan, and they reported the condition of the Canaan to people, and and those the report from the spies is about like the nations are strong. And we cannot never conf, we cannot confront it. Then, but they get into the land that they all scared of the Israel people. That is in chapter five and six. And Israel people got scared of this nation, and they couldn't get in the land. You must get the perfect observation of the Canaan land. Whenever you take the steps, like、uh, even you face the son of Anakim, they will they will scare of you. You are scared of the world. It's 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 not correct. The world and Satan must be scared of you, because we have the guidance of the Lord. And but we still do not enjoy and know the guidance of the Lord. That is the the coming from the throne. So whenever you face, you have this face, then you can shine the light to two, two, three, seven nations. Then if you enjoy these facts, then under any circumstances, you are bold enough to go forward. And you may not fall into disbelief. While losing all the blessings from the throne, then you might see these problems、um, as big as the world, and you are depressed and you are scared of the world. But you think about your status. God is giving you the blessings, and God put these blessings into your spirit. So we are. You must、uh, head if, heading for the throne. Then we can receive the blessings, transcending time and places. But we do not enjoy and recover this phase. So that's why we got scared of the field. They they became the、uh, slave of the world. Israel people are were the same. They were saved. And got out of Egypt, but forty for forty years in the wilderness, they just fall into disbelief and they got scared of this kind Canaan land, and they need to correct all of them. So for 
、uh, the time and the wilderness. God gave them the training to recover their faith. God is guiding us. You remember that God is guiding us, but God is guiding us as much as you are mature about His words. God is taking care of every detail of your life, so do not worry about the world, do not scare of the world, because there is a guidance and God interrupts your life. So, before the world, don't be scared. You will just see the world is big, but there will just crumble down any soon. So, whenever you look at the world, then you must have a pity on them. When you see the people in the world, you must have a pity on them. Even they are. They look very good and smart, but they had no choice but to crumble down in their life. So, if you are scared of all these people、uh, seeming great in this world, that means you do not know about the blessings from the throne. God is interrupting us, God is guiding us as our condition, our status. And in the Dothan, And temple, then the, the Arab soldiers surrounded this temple, and Elisha、um, prayed to the Lord, and they just surround、uh, this Dothan. But the soldiers of God surrounded with the more numbers of the soldiers. Second King chapter 19, verse 35. And he, he just、um, gave them the success in the battlefield with this 185,000 soldiers. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. You must approach the throne of the grace with confidence because God, God is guiding us at the,、uh, in time. So, God is guiding us and God is taking care of our staff. And the passage today is about how, talking about how God is guiding us. God is guiding us in advance before us. Verse 3 says, Know therefore today that God who goes over before you as the consuming fire is the Lord your God. What is a flaming fire? That is a power of judgment. And as a power of judgment, it will go before you. So God is always planning in advance. God is working in advance. Whenever we face difficulties, God will mobilize the angels of the soldiers and God will work on this before us. It's never done like God is late. Daniel chapter 6 22. My God sent his angel. And he shut the mouth of the lions. God sent his angel in advance. God is guiding us. God is taking care of us、uh, with the standard of his power. And before us, God is taking care of every step that we will take. So you must enjoy and check、um, this blessing, these blessings day by day. The third future must live as a competent person who will, who will win. So, God will guarantee the victory. In this passage, verse 5 says, 
It's about the, the swore. His,、uh, the word that he swore to、um, the fathers and Abraham and to Israel, Isaac. The core message of this is that the Israel people will be recovered. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. And 14, and once they were sold as slaves, but they will come with all the treasures. And he just said in advance. And today's message is about the word that they swore in advance and is achieving now. So he's talking about the blessings that he's accomplishing now. Chapter verse 5 is not because of your righteousness. That he may confirm the word that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, and to Isaac, and to Jacob. So it's just happening. Well, the plan of God is already planned for the future, and he just planned with,、um, with Abraham and the father and Isaac. And we give thanks about the guidance of the Lord. At the same time, we can give thanks to the blessings to come. That's why we can give thanks to the Lord. Lord, today, let's grab hold of this very important covenant for these Thanksgivings. In the book of Acts, Christ, the kingdom of God. And the Holy Spirit, all these、um, all the churches that grab hold of these messages, and, and it's, a, it's been accomplishing until now. So we must grab these future messages today. They must grab this covenant, the covenants that will accomplish in the future. Then you will recover the perfect message in your life. Must be. Succeeding in this message. Let's pray. Please let us understand this true message. As a saved one, s we want to experience the guidance of the Holy Spirit and must, we want to get this guaranteed message. s Please guide us to this perfect message until、um, His second coming. We will grab hold of the covenants for this evangelization. And we will、uh, be the precious workers for this Hana Church. Grab hold of your precious covenants. Amen.